check your other placements don't force the reading on your situation let's see what is happening with you and what you need to hear Taurus Taurus blessed wow which granted the first um, message that came to my mind after looking at this card was if you're praying for something if you are praying to God or to the higher self see how the hands are joined for some growth for some prosperity or for something I see your wish is going to be granted very soon right then i see by the book uh, i see 11 oh my god can you see this this is 11 number card and this is 22 2 2 1 1 very beautiful combination very blessed kind of combination i feel there is something happening in your surroundings which is going by the books um, you might find yourself in a position where somebody is uh, more on the traditional or trivial um, outlook or i also heard that uh, some situation requires a lot of legalities some paperwork i heard for some of you something is happening according to the established customs right established norms maybe society maybe government maybe legal things here it's happening in a very trivial manner and you on the other hand um, i see you looking at the I heard for somebody that you are looking at something from the 5D level, right? And this is very 3D kind of energy. We're going to dive in, of course. It's very interesting. Little different vibe in this reading. Okay, let's see what messages come through, right? For a lot of you, I heard that somebody is about to break the chains. I think this is you. You're praying. You're, you're looking up to the universe and you're asking that, okay, I don't want it, ha it to happen in a conventional manner. I want something different. I think your wish is going to be granted if, if that is the case, right? Okay. Mm. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Seven of Pentacles waiting on to something. There's something very exciting and you're going to be hearing from that person if you're waiting for something. Lovers is showing me a partnership, divinely guided connection, an attraction you can't avoid, right? It's not in your hands. You can't avoid it. It's very strong. But there's something which is telling you to wait, stand and wait and analyze. For some of you, you've been investing somewhere and you think that, okay, till the time this thing shows up, I cannot invest. But you know what, if you're waiting onto a connection, if you're waiting from somebody to hear, I see this is divine intervention. When I see this card, interestingly, if you see, this is the sun card here, right, beautiful energy. And um, if you see the sun in this card, and if you see the sun in this card, it's actually bigger. In the lover's card, the sun is actually bigger than what we have in the original sun card. So the happiness that's what i pick up the happiness that you're going to find in this connection is going to be bi bigger than what you're expecting right i see leo energy i see gemini energy you're going to be hearing something very soon whatever message whatever communication or whatever forward movement is coming towards you i see it's happening already you know you don't have to do anything it's already happening in your surroundings whatever it's coming towards you that is divinely guided and you might find yourself in a position that you don't have to do anything or you don't have to control over something. It's just growing automatically. It's going to happen that way, right? Wow, blessed energy with this combination and the sun under the deck. I feel some really good things coming your way, Taurus. Um, okay, let's see. So what is this week bringing for you? Oh my God, there is a choice. There's a decision coming in and it is for love justice yes yeah, some some things have to be balanced because this is the connection that is going to stay again remember we're talking about uh, some legalities some things going by the book i see here see a lot of attention at somebody somebody feels victory with you this person is having a very bad past experience about something they're coming from a place where they're concluding something right and they have regrets whatever they're concluding they have regrets about it and they're so ready once they're out of that energy they're so ready to take the leap of faith six of pawns very positive energy coming towards you 
you are on the other hand uh, very positive too here for some of you i see you've been waiting for some messages from a particular person or a connection right you want to know if it is going to move forward or not so you you've been you are going to get that message right if you're waiting on to that this week for some of you i see the decision is being made and you're deciding uh, with whom you want to be with right and for some of you if you were experiencing some kind of third party energy right and i see actual third party where maybe two people are in love with you two people proposed you together or there were two options i know calling people options is a very bad thing i'm sorry but this is something i'm picking up i don't have any other words right you can just let me suggest me in the comment section if you have some better terminology here but i see two influences right and you're making a decision here lovers uh wow <laughs> i see the decision is made is being made in the favor of love one thing has to end you're blessed right you're blessed here justice again balancing things i see an apology also coming in here we're going to clarify who is apologizing for what but it's going to be worth it i don't know i'm just getting this vibe it's going to be worth it what else what else what taurus needs to hear four of cups thinking about something past impacting your decisions in six of pentacles nine of pentacles here very interesting energy taurus hmm so what i feel here taurus is that whatever investments you're going to make in the near future six of pentacles your investments how much you're going to give i see just the six of pentacles very balanced energy here whatever inputs you're giving whatever investments you're giving in the near future this week that's going to be heavily based upon your past experiences with a specific person or in general in your life now here comes the by the book energy because i see whatever you have experienced justice is not just uh, you know talking about the truth or decision it's also about learning from your experiences when we say justice energy i always get that vibe where you have been there done that and it's now time to hold your truth high you know and uh, I'm feeling here four of cups energy where one thing has to be released because there's a choice that you have to make you're releasing one thing and that decision is going to be based on your past right but eventually it's taking you to a point where you are beautifully beautifully accomplishing something you you're doing your duties beautifully let me clarify beautiful energy beautiful energy to start with Taurus sun moon rising Venus and Jupiter. The one thing I'm feeling here that you're going to be hearing a message very soon. I think somehow you feel that your progress is attached to that message. Seven of Pentacles is showing me that you can move forward from here only when this thing comes in and it's a divine intervention. I'm strongly picking up divine inter intervention here. Let's see what are you waiting on to, Taurus? Three of Cups celebration, yes. Maybe reconciliation, maybe a date. Maybe you're looking up to uh, meeting somebody. You're looking forward for a date with somebody. Beautiful. And I see it's happening. It's coming. So what are these messages? Magician. Someone is uh, really willing to manifest this. I am picking up sparkling energy for somebody. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Well, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Very nice. Uh... I see you ending up in a, a meeting where you can talk about love. For a lot of you, this is going to be relationship, right? Two of Cups is a mostly relationship thing for me, right? When I see Two of Cups energy, I, I see it's it's about love. What is this justice? But for establishing love, you will have to set some balance here. What is this justice? Ten of Swords. There is something that has to be concluded. Now, if it is a choice we're talking about, you might have to end something before you finally decide what you want, right? The stillness, hanged man. For a lot of you, your current connection or your current thing is not moving forward because something has to be concluded. Or other way around, I also picked up vice versa energy. You, you know you have to end something, you know you have to conclude something. But till the time you receive these messages, you can't conclude it. You see, vice versa. Whatever it is, I see 
this decision is based on the messages or these messages are based on the decision i don't know but i think it's finally getting concluded and things are going to move forward in the right direction where is this apology coming from somebody in the mix has to apologize for something i don't know i think that apology is going to come in yes positive movement somebody wants things to move forward and it's going to be like a wish fulfillment it's going to be a wish fulfillment for you for somebody you're dealing with this person is ready to move forward they somehow they know that they will have to apologize for something in order to take things forward and i see they're doing that right so what, what is so dissatisfying i see you're looking to this apology for some of you i heard that if in the mix somebody has to apologize to you right you're setting the record right you're telling somebody that this has to be balanced this has to go by the book this has to happen in the way uh, you know how it happens conventionally and somebody try doing something out of the box they're coming and apologizing that i shouldn't be i shouldn't have done that and you're like okay let me think let me think four of cups in the beginning you're going to be very uh, disinterested or in a rejection mode you know denial mode i don't think so i don't think so it should happen that way but when this apology comes in and when those past memories come back and you're sitting with six of cups here energy you finally realize that okay sometimes some connections are not exactly balanced sometimes our investments are little more than what the other person is doing but for the overall stability of the thing because you know it's a partnership you know it's love it you know it's divinely guided i see that you are finally deciding that i'm ready to do a little more you know okay but that's going to be coming from a place of independence you know it's, it's it doesn't mean that if you're doing too much you're taking the load and the burden as well i'm picking up a good vibe here page of cups loyalty yeah i see somebody's coming in to apologize here three of pentacles i do see things moving forward very positively and this is actually in concurrence to what i've been picking up with this blessed energy if you're waiting on to something to get concluded so that other priorities other positive things can move forward in your life i see it's coming other way around if you are waiting for the communication so that you can conclude something i don't know you just take it how it is how it resonates but it's happening for you and i'm picking up a beautiful vibe here very positive energy overall uh taurus let's see for some of you right at least 60 percent of you honestly i'm picking up its love it's love and if you were stuck in a connection in past they were waiting for it to get over so that you can take a chance on real love or a real partnership that is there in your surroundings i see that's happening for someone i also heard that if you're waiting for a divorce or a settlement or a conclusion of the past connection ex or maybe just you know um setting the record right with your ex or you know um i i heard forgiveness and being forgiven in a connection or a, in a past situation whatever it is i see a lot of cards of apology and justice so for some of you this is like you're waiting for somebody to apologize i see they will apologize and um that's a good good overall good feeling here in the reading the real love is moving forward you're manifesting the thing that should be there in your life or that you always wanted in your life right okay what taurus needs to hear oh my god i told you taurus i told you i see love this is very beautiful love reading there's something which is very uh, nurturing here in your surroundings this distorted female for some of you i also heard distorted feminine energy uh, there is a third party energy in your surroundings lovers is also showing me a decision maybe you were waiting for concluding things with somebody who has been distorting your life right maybe an ex a codependent connection this can be simply a relationship that did not work out or maybe a marriage i also heard for some of you but that's going to be for very very few of you right overall it's there's, there's somebody in your surroundings who is experiencing a very distorted life right now i see this person is all over the place or uh, they're not able to bring their life back together right the, i see disintegrated pieces here and your effort your focus your something i don't know there was some cord connected with this person I see you finally realizing that I need to detach myself from this person. For someone, this can be as small as you counseling and providing energy to this person. Or I heard energy vampire, but you were still investing because you had some past history with this person, right? 
I see you were trying to help them and you have helped them in your own ways but I see now you're feeling that I need to choose love right if this if that's the case I see you leveling up to choose love right very interesting energy I just want to have one more card and then we're going to wind up the reading let's have this deck for Taurus what's coming up for Taurus and what Taurus needs to hear right Taurus, codependent. Can you see the confirmation? Distorted feminine energy. I see there's a codependent energy in your surroundings. And you were going by the book. Maybe there were some legalities. For someone very specific, I don't know why this came to my mind. I heard restraining order. I don't I don't know. For someone, I heard that. Okay. Um, and this is very specific, of course. But there is some codependent energy in your surroundings. And you're finally releasing it. You're finally detaching yourself from that energy. Because you can find the chemistry, you can find there's a magnetic attraction in your surroundings and that is worth exploring. You want to take a chance on real love. Wow, I leave you here, Taurus. This has been this is this is not a week's reading. I cannot say that this is just a week's energy. I don't know even if this is uh, something that I can conclude in a month. It can be two months. But whatever it is, it's beautiful. I'll leave you here. Thank you so much guys for watching. Bye bye.